Okay, in this video we're going to review and teach about multiplying integers and we're going to be using a concrete model called the two tile, two colored tiles or the two color counters. Um, one side is yellow which represents the number positive one, the opposite side is the red which represents negative one. Okay, and if you add one plus negative one you get zero which is why these two when you have one of each color is called a zero pair. In, this, in essence, they cancel each other out when you add them together. So uh, there's some vocab review there, zero pair. As you can see on the left side, <clears throat> an integer is just all of your whole numbers plus their opposites. So the opposite of one is negative one. The opposite of two is negative two. Right? That works the opposite way too. So the opposite of negative three is positive three. All right? The only number that has uh, no opposite really is zero. The opposite of zero is just zero by right, itself. So. All right, so uh, let's take a look at a sample problem here. We're going to do, uh, we're going to show some multiplication. We'll start off with two positive integers, three times two. So one way you can read this is the first number tells me what to add or subtract, how many groups to add or subtract to the table, and the second group tells me how big those groups will be. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to write that up here. The first number tells me uh, whether to add or subtract groups. And the second number tells me the size of groups. Okay. So this tells me to add three groups of size two. So I'm going to add, there's one group of, of two things, right? I'm going to add another group and a third group. Okay, and that is three groups of two. All right, so I can write that as three groups, or I can write that as add three groups of two. Okay, so I just added three groups of two uh, color tokens to the table. And there it is, I have six. All right, so no surprise there, three times two is six. Okay, let's try another one. So this time I'm gonna do, um, let's do, I wanna do two times, and now we'll put some negative in here, two times negative two. Right. Actually, I want to make that a different number so you can see if they're different, it's, it's easier to distinguish what's going on here. So uh, two times negative four. All right, so I could read this as add, because it's positive, add. Thank you, Gabby. All right, so we're gonna add two groups of, and I want to use the uh, the time sign here and like this, add two groups of size negative four. All right? So in other words, I'm going to add two groups of four red. Right? So there's one group of four red and there's a second group of four red as soon as I get a couple more out here. And, uh, and there it is. So I added to the table, I added two groups of four reds. And I have a total of negative eight. Negative eight. Okay, let's try the next one. I want to make it a little bit. Now it gets kind of tricky, right? We're going to we're going to do the first number, the first uh, pro, um, factor is going to be negative now. So negative three times. Uh, let's do times four. Okay. So in class, I talked about one way to interpret this, and that is it's very difficult to talk about negative groups, right? What does a negative group of ducks look like? It's, it's really hard to think about. So I, I offer the interpretation of thinking of a, this number as the opposite of. So this would be the opposite of three groups of four. The opposite of three groups of four. So I make three groups of four. Okay, there's three groups of four, and I get 12, and then I take, at the very end, I take the opposite of it, because this is an opposite sign, so I flip them all over. Right? That's one way of thinking about it. Okay, that is the opposite of three groups of four. That's the way I discussed in class. Here's another way of interpreting what this means in terms of uh, groups. All right, so what I could think of it as, is I could think of it as, instead of adding groups, because this is a negative, I can think of it as taking away groups. So I need to take away three groups of four. 
Well, what do you start off with? I'm starting off with nothing, right? There's nothing here. How can you take away groups of four? Well, it's the same kind of thing we did before when we were doing subtraction of integers, right? In order to subtract integers, what you've got to do is you start off with some zero sum pairs, some zero pairs. So remember, this is nothing. This is zero. So I can add as many of these as I want to the table without changing my balance. This is all still zero. And I'm going to do this until I have enough to take away three groups of four. So I need 12 of them in order to take away three groups of four. Let's see, here's one group of four. Here's another group of four. And again, I'm not changing the value of anything here because I still have zero. Right? All this is zero plus zero plus zero plus zero. Over here, I have zero plus zero plus zero plus zero. And then I need uh, one more set here, down here. Uh, there's more chips. We're not a chips for this. There it is. Okay. All right. Now, I didn't change my value. I have zero here. I just have zero 12 times. Now I'm going to take away take away three groups of four. So uh, here's one group of four. I'm going to take them away. All right. Here's another group of four. I'm going to take them away. And here's another group of four. I'm going to take them away, which leaves me with negative 12. Negative 12, and you can't quite see the negative sign on there, but there is one. Negative 12. Okay, so let's try another one like that. Make it a little bit smaller this time. I'm going to have us take away, right? Take away two groups of three. Okay, start with zero. We have nothing on the table, and from nothing, take away two groups of three. Well, how are you going to do that? You can't take away two groups of three if you have nothing. Well, yes, you can. You just invite in some zero-sum pairs. All right? There's That's still nothing because they add up to zero. Here's still nothing. And here's still nothing. That's one pair of three, right? That's one group of three. I need another group of three to take away. So here's another group of three. And it still doesn't change my value because it's still it's just adding zero. Right? This is zero, 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 zero. So now I can take away two groups. I can take away two groups of three. One, two. And I get my answer is what's ever left. Uh, negative six. Okay, see how that works. All right, let's try one where I'm taking away a negative now. So we're going to do it this way. I want to take away four groups of negative two. Okay. I'm not adding chips because my first number is negative. I'm not adding chips to the table. I'm taking away chips. I'm going to take away four groups of two. I don't have any groups of two. So let's invite in our zero pair sums, our couples, right? Invite them in. And then we'll divorce them and take away stuff. So there's one couple. Here is actually two couples. There's another pair of couples. I'm going to take another pair of couples here. And another pair of couples here. Again, this doesn't change the value. This is still zero. But now I'm going to take away, take away four groups of negative twos. So I'm going to take away four groups of negative twos. Here's one group of negative twos. Here's another group of negative twos. Here's a third group of negative twos. Here's a fourth group of negative twos. I'm left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and they're all positive. So that's how uh, that's another way of looking at multiplication of integers. Okay. Multiplication of integers. In the next video, we'll see a shortcut on doing that. But that's how we use it using concrete models. So you can think of it either one of two ways. You can think of it as the negative sign as being the opposite of, or you think of it as taking away, and a positive sign would be adding. So adding three groups of negative two versus taking away three groups of negative two.